So here in front of us, we have a gift from Sir Peter Snell. He's given us some of his most precious objects from his career as an athlete. I think the most interesting object is possibly the shoe here, which he wore at the Rome Olympic Games in 1960. And it was made for him by Arthur Lydiard, his coach. So Arthur Lydiard was one of the greatest athletic coaches that the world has ever seen. But he was also a shoemaker and he experimented for many years trying to perfect the track shoe. So for example, this shoe, it's quite generous here in the toe. He believed that athletes needed a, a, a sizable, what you call a toe box, to make sure that the toes were comfortable and not squashed. And for Peter at Rome, Lydiard added a wee rubber heel to soften the impact. And he won all his races wearing this shoe. And Adidas had given free pairs of shoes to all the other finalists, but not to Peter Snell because they didn't consider him a medal contender. But when he won the semi-final, they were like, oh, I think we'd better give him a pair of shoes. So Adidas gave him a free pair but he stuck with Lydiard's shoes. They were tried and tested, and he went on to win the 800 metres, much to the surprise of Adidas and everybody around the world. Peter Snell won this gold medal at the Rome Olympic Games in 1960 for the 800 metre race. And it's really interesting because before 1960, Olympic medals were just simply the medallion. They didn't hang around your neck. And so for the very first time in 1960, they created it to go around the athletes' necks. What I really love about the Rome gold medal is that Peter Snell became a national celebrity. And when he came home, so many people touched the gold medal that they actually rubbed off some of the guilt. 